Well, hello all you fishing fans out there. Welcome back to another episode of Get Naughty with Mike. Today we're going to learn how to tie a blood knot. A blood knot is a fantastic knot for joining two separate types of fishing line. You can join braided to braided, you can join mono to braided, or mono to mono. An example would be if you're using a braided main line and you wanted to attach a monofilament leader. We'll be right back to show you how to tie a blood knot, and that's only if you're ready to get naughty. Well, let's do it. And this knot goes out to my nephew, Adam, who I'm proud to say is serving as a ranger in the U.S. Army, and he ain't afraid to get bloody. So let's learn how to tie ourselves a blood knot. First thing you need to do is lie the two separate lines side by side. Then take one line and cross it over the second line. What I do is I'll pinch it right here and I'll want to wrap it about four wraps around one of the lines. Once you have it wrapped around the line you want to take the tag end and slide it between the line you've just tied and the line you're attaching to. And what that will do is that will allow you to form a small loop when you're attaching the second line. Now you take the second line, the tag end of it, and you'll begin to wrap it around the other fishing line in the opposite direction. Again, about four twists should be sufficient. And once you have that done, you want to slide the tag end through the loop you made so that the tag end of each separate line is facing in opposite directions. Then you'll moisten the knot slightly and begin to slowly pull the knots together by pulling on both ends of the main line, of each main line, till the knots become tightened and then just pull and keep it moistened and pull and keep it moistened and then the knots themselves will form these two separate lines together. Of course then you can snip off the excess of ends on the tag end of each knot. Well I've tied some actual fishing line together to show you what it should look like when the knot is correctly tied. You can join a monofilament and a monofilament together using the blood knot. Of course when you have your knot finished you want to trim off the excess on the tag ends as close as possible. You can also join a braided line to a monofilament and that's good if you have a braided main fishing line and you want to use a monofilament leader. Again trim off the excess tag ends. And you can also join two separate braided lines this being a smaller diameter to the other braided line. Again, don't forget to trim off your, ex your excess on the tag ends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Getting Naughty with Mike. And remember, catch only what you can eat and eat what you catch. Let's save a few fishies for our kids and grandkids. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time on Getting Naughty with Mike.